what is up guys and welcome back to this new video today we have another free roll f2 video for the plant um yeah this is just some footage from qualifying again uh this is probably my best race ever in VRL, not quite of the wrestle but just of the race and the racing that took place in this video is absolutely fantastic um so yeah before we go into the gentle look at the championship we are 32 points in P12, only 3 behind our teammate and the championship fight, we are way out of it. Last year we were in it, this year we aren't. Um, so yeah, now getting on the formation that you could see us qualifying in P14. One of the only 3 cars who start on the medium tires, the rest is all going for a soft hard strategy apparently. And as we just go through the formation lap. Uh, we make ourselves ready for the race and as I said this is going to be an absolute banger so keep watching to the end and we will head up to the race. Five red lights are off then and now we are underway we have a good start a way better start than TTV I quicks as we uh, just try to get the slipstream of Anosha Tease who moves to the outside we go through the inside of the corner and you, uh, Jacob 22 F1 around our outside Stein Koistra now ahead of us and he blocks us a little bit, not really though, and now yeah we are boxed and we cannot go anywhere and stuck behind Stein Koistra now, this bad boy tries to go around the outside of us, we cannot go anywhere and so he does that, we of course on the mediums have less grip through the S section than the soft runners, so that was a little bit expected that we would lose a few positions at start, we aren't going down the inside of the Dagners, that would just be a stupid move. The UFV goes to Wakanda Raring, we'll, um, yeah, he left at the start of the formation lap, so he's just a ghost now, so we go down the inside of the hairpin, eh? of bad boy. It doesn't quite work out, was a little bit of a two visions move, but uh, nevertheless we get out unscathed as we activate overtake mode now can we maybe send it somewhere what can the rare ring goes uh, uh yeah he's still a ghost because he of course left tier to came behind us doesn't look like a threat and as we now come to the end of the lap here at the uh, i don't know what this is called uh the, that's just called the chicken we get a warning as you repair face at the fast lap of the race and anosia tease comes into the pits then in front of us, Stein Koistra and Bad Boy battling. This certainly isn't the last time this race. How many times these guys have found each other is unbelievable. Jamil Van retires from the session. He shouldn't be racing. Uh, as we get a way, way too hard of a push from Stein. Which we almost makes us lose a position to Kimi. He lags a bit because he is on another continent. The other side of the world. So not weird that we have a bit of a lag with him. Then now coming into lap number 3, there's a lot of fossils laps being set, Dierbas gets enabled and we have a second to Stein Koistra, so I'm uh, eager to see how that will work out. Can we stay within the 1 second and keep the Dierbas to defend from Kibir or maybe even attack on Stein? Their softs are at this point in the race of course way way better than our mediums and as we now come into lap 4 we actually do have the Dierbas. We activate it, we use some overtake. And uh, yeah, it's almost empty our overtake, so you should save a little bit more. And now then, coming in, and the safety car that gets deployed. That's a real plot twist, as TRT James has gone headfirst into the wall, our teammate. That's a real shame for him. Um, yeah, and so now, with the safety car, everybody coming into the pit, except us. So that uh, means that we are up into P1, and that we can um, go as the first car behind the safety car. I'm not quite sure, but I think this is the first time I, le I led a VRL race. As you can see, only the Ghost and me haven't bit. Um, at this point in time, uh, it wasn't a bad strategy call. And uh, it really wasn't, because I was only uh, 4 laps old on those tires. On the medium common of tires, so it would be strange for me to come into the pits. And now, as you can see, the safety car in this lap, but he only comes in. Uh, we get the message only when he is through the last corner so we have to go really slowly here cool down our tires massively isn't a real big thing because we have a ghost as a buffer and they are on the hard so it's um, more of a problem for them if they have cold tires but now can we stay ahead in P1 of course way faster drivers than us are they around a second lap fast then we get a warning for exceeding track limits and let's see can we stay ahead of Yuri PSV who still has to pass the ghost and so that means that we have eight and a half tenths to uh, the car behind 
and that means we have a good buffer now getting on to uh, out of the spoon section onto the back onto the back straight excuse me and um, yeah we still have a big of enough of a gap to fend them off I actually didn't expect this when um, we were in the safety car period I thought they would just fly around me into turn one but we actually managed to stay ahead for quite a while then coming here into the S section Yuri is now getting really close three tenths only is the gap to him and he uh, certainly wants to pass us as quick as possible because Karim and Memes Fires and Nick Pancras are all really closely behind each other and I think that I'm holding up quite a lot but our rifles actually are way slower than us here because I don't know if it's traffic, I don't know if it's dirty air but we were faster than our rifles who we were battling with so this was actually one of the best strategy calls I made and um, still not getting past so we still are enjoying our free air um, on the medium tires who are getting worn out now but still nothing dramatic we actually got the strange strategy call to pit for softs on lap 17 so that would mean a medium soft strategy that would be awesome if we could make that work but of course um, we don't have to battle that hard for it but of course we won't just let P1 slip away as Yuri PSV now gets really closely to us tries to outbreak us, we break a little bit later but he just uh, released the brake and is it into P1 way more grip it looked like he's of course a faster driver so nothing strange there and now we have to defend from Memes Virus and Karim. Uh, yeah, we weave a little bit to keep in the slipstream. Memes has to uh, lift there. Uh, very sorry to him. And Karim just gives us a little bit of a push. Um, yeah, a racing incident really. We get immediately passed by all the other drivers. I actually think that was better. But Karim here makes a mistake. And look at this great battle. Five car battle for the lead. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you want more? Look at them battling through Dagner 1 and then through Dagner 2. Absolutely crazy scenes here. As a, it's now a 6 car battle for the lead. Would you believe it? This is why you need to join VRL people. Come on, let's have a bit of fun with each other. And as we now skip ahead to um, the main straight, we have a yellow flag. Somebody probably crashed out or something. Don't know really what happened. And as we now get passed by Leroy F1, not really fighting him, he's of course also a faster driver than us. We just need to preserve our medium tires and just see if we can keep within the DRS. As the top 5 are still scrapping it out so we can stay with them. And as you can see there, cars behind us battling really hard. So that gives, gives us, again, a bit more of a buffer. As now a massive plot twist comes, safety car deployed as we skip two laps into the future, Nick Pankras has already passed us. And the safety car couldn't have come at the worst time for us. And let me tell you why, because as we now skip through the pit lane phase, we have to pit for the hearts to keep our um, tire regulation, of course. You do need to uh, be on two different compounds in the race. And everyone around us has pit for the mediums, which is logical with only 13 laps to go. And that means that we have to come into the pits again. And this really ruined our race a bit. Um, this means we'll come out in P13, of course P12, when um, Wakanda the Ghost has uh, been passed by us. Or we have passed Wakanda the Ghost. And some people now coming into the pits again. Um, Safety car restarts, Armand really too great, everybody slowing down, but again, it's part of racing. And we now get uh, Wakanda, and we are back into the points. Safety car really screwed our race here, uh, not the best timing as I already said. And let's now see, can we get Bad Boy or Stein Koistra, who are still battling after all these laps. Are they still going strong? Lap 17, I don't know what I'm saying right now. Overtake mode has been against SLR TH020 has left the session after he, after he had retired. And now seeing can we do anything, we skip two, let, two laps into the future. Uh, Xavi Mateos has set the fastest lap of the race. And now uh, you can see your Stein Cruster and Bad Boy battling really hard ahead. We zoom in a little bit to show the battle a little bit better. And these guys have been battling all race and they wouldn't stop battling until the very last corner of the race. Which, I mean, you could appreciate, but these two guys weren't too happy with each other afterwards, so that's a bit of a shame. And maybe that this incident is the reason why 
uh, Stein takes Bad Boy out and then Bad Boy takes Stein out and that means that we can go up into P8. Really beautiful move if I'm allowed to say so myself because this was just too funny. I was like, okay, thanks guys. I was slower than you both, but if you do like if you race like that, then I'll take the position. And now of course Bad Boy behind us, as I said, he is also faster. I'm not really the quickest driver. But you should just have it from consistency and not getting too much penalties. Um, and here Stein and Bad Boy again continue to battle when I pass them. And they only lose more time and time and time. And this means that we can now start to hunt for TRT Kimmy ahead of us. Which would be awesome if we could still scramble a P7 after that really unfortunate safety car. And I don't know if you could have heard it, but he, Jeff said that Bad Boy has 9 seconds worth of penalties. So we just let him go here. Um, yeah, we only have 3 seconds worth of penalties. In the end we could, we did get 6, but that was because of an unfair penalty. And here uh, we have a yellow flag in turn 1 as we skip a little bit of laps ahead. And it is Yuri PSV who has crashed there and Kimi has probably collected him. Because he had damage afterwards. And that means that Bad Boy and Kimmy are now really battling hard and this was our plan. Let them battle and then I can uh, continue and maybe see if we can get Kimmy. So now coming on to the main street here. Let's see, can we get him? We uh, use everything, we have every last drop of fuel, every last bit of energy, every last what. You can see by the blinking lights he doesn't have ERS. Uh, he has front wing damage, he pushes us a little bit. But we, he overshoots the corner and we can just cut back at him. Really beautiful move if I say so myself. And this was the last lap. So last lap overtake. Always what you love to see. But the race wasn't over for us yet. Because here 2.9 seconds to bad boy. We didn't know that our 3 seconds would get deleted here. So we really had to push hard. And the virtual gap is now only 1 tenth between us. For P6. Uh, as we get really close now. Uh, Lero wins the race, uh, congratulations to him. And now Bad Boy, can we maybe use now 3 seconds ahead of us? And we get him, he got another 3 second time penalty in the end. Um, yeah, we will, me and Stein will pass Kimi as we both get 3 seconds removed. And uh, this was the race, and thank you for watching.